Below our mission description, we want to show the pictures, names and roles of each crew member, which is easier said than done. The complexity here is that our JSON was provided in two parts, missions.json and astronauts.json. This eliminates duplication in our data because some astronauts took part in multiple missions, but it also means we have to write some code to join our data together, to resolve Armstrong to Neil A. Armstrong, for example. You see, on one side we have missions that know crew member Armstrong had the role commander, but they have no idea what Armstrong is. And on the other side we have Neil A. Armstrong and the description of him, but no concept that he was a commander on Apollo 11. So what we need to do is make our mission view accept the mission that got tapped, along with our full astronauts array, then have it figure out which astronauts actually took part in the launch. Because this merged data is only temporary, we could use a tuple rather than a struct. But honestly, there isn't really much difference, so we'll be using a new struct here. Add this nested struct inside mission view now. Struct crew member, let role string, let astronaut, astronaut. Now for the tricky part. We have to add a property to mission view that stores an array of crew member objects. These are the fully resolved role slash astronaut pairings. At first, that's as simple as adding another property. Let astronauts, array of crew member. But then how do we set that property? Well, think about it. If we make this view be handed its mission and all astronauts, we can loop over the mission crew. Then for each crew member, loop over all our astronauts to find the one that has a matching ID. When we find one, we can convert that and their role into a crew member object. But if we don't, it means somehow we have a crew role with an invalid or unknown name. Swift gives us an array method called first where that really helps this process along. We can give it a predicate, which is a fancy word for a condition, and it will send back the first array element that matches the predicate, or nil if none do. In our case, we can use that to say, give me the first astronaut with the ID of Armstrong. Let's put all that into code, using a custom initializer for mission view. Like I said, this will accept the mission it represents, along with all the astronauts, and its job is to store the mission away, then figure out the array of resolved astronauts. Here's the code. Init, mission, mission, astronauts, array of astronaut. Self.mission equals mission var matches equals a new array of crew members. For member in mission.crew, if let match equals astronauts dot first where dollar zero dot ID is equal to member.name. Matches dot append crew member role member dot role astronaut match else, fatal error, missing member. And finally, self.astronauts equals matches. As soon as that code is in, our preview struct will stop working again because it needs more information. So add a second call to decode there so it loads all the astronauts too, then passes those in. Static let astronauts, array of astronaut, equals bundle.main, dot decode astronauts dot json and then astronauts astronauts now that we have all our astronaut data we can show this directly below the mission description using a for each this is going to use the same hstack vstack combination we used in content view except now we need a spacer at the end of our hstack to push our views to the left previously we got that for free because we were in a list but that isn't the case now we're also going to add a little extra styling to the astronaut pictures to make them look better using a capsule clip shape and overlay. Add this code before spacer min length 25 in mission view. For each self dot astronauts ID backslash dot roll crew member in hstack image crew member dot astronaut dot ID dot resizable dot frame width 83 height 60 dot clip shape capsule dot overlay capsule dot stroke 
color.primary, line width 1. VStack alignment.leading, text crewmember.astronaut.name, dot font dot headline. Then text crewmember.role, dot foreground color dot secondary. Then a spacer, and then dot padding dot horizontal for the HDAC. You should see that looks good in the preview, but to see it live in the simulator, we have to modify the navigation link in content view. It pushes to text detail view right now, but please replace it with this. Mission view, mission, mission, astronauts, self.astronauts. Now go ahead and run the app in the simulator. It's starting to become useful. Before you move on, try spending a few minutes customizing the way the astronauts are shown. I've used the capsule clip shape and overlay, but you could try circles or rounded rectangles. You could use different fonts or larger images, or even add some way of marking who the mission commander was.